All right, guys, here are 10 incredible facts about white-tailed deer that I've pulled randomly out of my big stack of stuff over here. So here we go. Fact number one, deer do not contract Lyme disease. As a deer tick hatches, it seeks out its first host, usually a mouse or other small mammal, and ingests the Lyme bacteria. As an adult, it seeks out a larger mammal, preferably a deer, for its last host before laying its eggs. As a tick feeds on a deer, a yet unnamed component in the deer's blood kills the Lyme bacteria. Now, if deer were the only mammal the ticks fed on, we would have no Lyme disease. Fact number two. Whitetails are a natural host of brainworm, but they're immune to their effects. Slugs and snails carry the larva and are accidentally consumed. The worms travel to the head, where they lay eggs on the whitetail's brain. The larvae then migrate to the lungs and are eliminated. Now, when they are accidentally consumed by a moose, the worm instead enter the brain, leading to the death of the moose. Fact number three. Antlers are the fastest growing tissue in mammals. Antlers grow up to an inch per day. More than that in certain remarkable individuals. Moose will grow up to one pound a day at peak. Antler growth starts in the north in earnest around April and they calcify in August. Fact number four. Deer are known as concentrate selectors. They have a small stomach and shorter intestines for their body size compared to a cow. Deer have the ability to choose the highest quality and most palatable browse and forage from available options, enabling them to survive on less and spend little time exposed. Fact number five. Deer can eat forage that some animals would find toxic. Their highly active salivary glands create enzymes that allow them to consume amounts of acorns that would kill other herbivores. This also allows them to consume plants like poison ivy, poison oak, cherry leaves, and red maple leaves. Fact number six. White-tailed deer are very widespread and highly adaptable. Now, depending on your source, there are 30 to 38 subspecies of white-tailed deer. They range as far north as the Northwest Territories in Canada and as far south as Northern South America. They're also found in countries like New Zealand, Croatia, Finland, Serbia, and the Caribbean Islands. Number seven. The heaviest white-tailed buck ever shot was the John Annette buck killed in Ontario. It weighed in at an unbelievable 431 pounds dressed on government certified scales. Whew. Fact number eight. Photoperiodism controls antler growth and triggers the breeding season. Antler growth is initiated by lengthening daylight hours. Shortening of days first surges testosterone, causes velvet shedding, and starts the breeding season. Further daylight reduction slows testosterone and triggers antler casting. Fact number nine. In North America alone, there are 16 subspecies of white-tailed deer. These subspecies are divided into six regions. But due to transportation during restocking efforts, many are now crossbred. Of these 16 subspecies, the most hunted are Borealis, Dacotensis, Virginianus, Texanus, and Macrorus. Fact number 10. A white-tailed deer has 297 million olfactory receptors. A human has 5 million. A whitetail's olfactory bulb is four times larger than a human's, making the deer much more efficient not only in scent detection, but in transmitting the scent signals to the brain. This means if you smell soup, a deer smells each individual ingredient in the soup, including the salt and the water. All right, guys, that was our 10 incredible facts about white-tailed deer. They were so incredible, I found another one. Here is number 11. If you see a white-tailed doe with multiple fawns, 
it's absolutely possible that each fawn is sired by a different buck. If you found this interesting, you can check the video description for links to more info. And when you're out there, guys, all I ask is when you're in the woods, you try to learn something more. Thanks for watching.